Welcome to the TriStar Software video training series. This video will offer an introduction to your new WinServe Plus software program. Upon entering the program, you will land on the Orders tab. You have an Orders tab and an optional Dispatch board. Down here at the bottom, you have a set of field agent queues used in conjunction with the WinServe mobile smartphone app for servers. You have a set of quick links here that we'll discuss in a later video, ePouch feature, and a quick search. You can enter any field information here into the quick search, uh, work order number, attorney matter number, case, plaintiff, defendant, etc., and use this arrow to locate that job. Up here at the top, you have file. When you click on that file, you have three options. Entering a new work order using the new work order feature, printing models, so printing individual forms, and the exit feature. We always recommend that anytime you're completed or finished doing your job for the day, please exit the program and then re-enter it again in the morning. Also over here on the far right, you have the help feature. A couple important things to point out, help and about. When you click the about feature, it shows you what version you're working on. There may be times where support asks you what version you're on. You can locate that here. We're working on 878. Also under the help feature, you can download the barcode font if you are using barcodes on your work orders and other forms. You can dump concurrent users. So if you have maxed out the number of seat licenses and you're getting an error message that says you've exceeded the number of seat licenses available, contact TriStar. You can always go to dump concurrent and release some of those seat licenses. Load models. This feature here is very important during the implementation process. If you have any requested changes or updates made to your forms during that implementation process, uh, changes to your work order, your proofs, uh, your invoices, you would simply click load models and follow the prompts to update all that information to reflect the changes that have been made. In the next video, we'll be talking about maintain. This is where you'll be going to start setting up your system to customize it and tailor it to your business needs. Thank you for watching.